。各位观众，晚上好。我们今天要玩《仙剑奇侠传五前传》，or as we know it in English, The Legend of Sword and Fairy Five Prequel. Hello, everyone. Let me move the camera over. So there you go. Now we're actually now we're talking. I have my camera now being moved around all the time because I, I work here now in the same exact space. One nice thing is that I use the streaming setup to do office work too, so it's nice. I all my investments paid off into the stream. Anyway, so we're gonna go ransack a bit of the town and then we're gonna progress the plot by going to slap. Anyway, it looks like we actually have the option to fly elsewhere, but I don't want to do that right now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna shake my coconut water. Anyway, as you know, well, I think Friday streams will be a lot more regular because there ain't nothing to do, <laughs> given our situation as of this recording. The fact that the world is in a pandemic, so no, not very fun stuff, but. At least we can have a good time and mess around and break some pots, get some blood clotting grass. So I'll be ransacking this town if as much as I can. I'll probably buy some weapons or so. Here in the Qingmu a village. Here at the general store again, but I don't want to go here. I want to. Want to go where weapons are. Okay, fine. Never mind. She's not. Uh, oh shoot! I shouldn't have low done that. Uh, she's talking about something else. Hold on, I think I made a mistake. Hold on, I don't want to. Ac I accidentally said no to that side quest. I didn't know if I was able to do that. I'm gonna load again. Come on, game. Okay, so we'll go ransack some more. I did not break this barrel the first time. We'll give everyone a chance to tune in. Okay. Man, everything's getting. But yeah, hello, Illusion Queen. Welcome. I haven't done anything really. Uh, no. No, I'm good. I'm just gonna ransack the town for now. And talk to the doggy! Oh, Jello Sufu's house? Okay. Walk around and talk to the party members? Okay. If I can find them. Oh, here they are. Here's one of them. Li Yen. Li Yen says... I have no interest in humans. Don't... Please, don't speak to me. Um... Brother Li Yen, I just wanted to express my thank- <laughs> My gratitude to thank you for being willing to help Brother Jiang. I helped him because- <laughs> Helped him because of our, um... Uh, sorry, how's the best way to put this? Um... Out of love for my fa for someone of the- my- of the- for someone, a fellow member of my race, it has nothing to do with humans. Humanity, there. No matter what, I still want to thank you. Ver thank you very much. Well then, I won't. 
I won't bother you any longer. Farewell. I know, fellow ma member of my race. He don't want to talk to me. Okay, so this is the area I could go to sleep, but I don't want to. It's like, you can't even say fellow race member. That doesn't sound right in English. It, we don't call it that in English. Hold on, I'm gonna move the thing to make my position more comfortable. There you go. Hello, Lu uh, Zeo Corvid. Oops. I'm greeting the same person twice. I'm gonna go explore a little more and see if we can find the other members. Yeah, you could talk to this person. I just know I accidentally almost triggered a side quest with her. But I don't want to do that right now. Give me the stuff. Yeah! It's like the nine leaf something or other. It's not very important, though. Yeah, set later, right? I should do it? Okay. I actually almost- I triggered it last time. I wasn't sure I was supposed to do it, so I reloaded just in case I could do it. I cancelled the first time I loaded it again because I was scared I accidentally shouldn't have cancelled. Alright, let's talk to her. I wasn't sure it was necessary. This is Atai. She says... Where could it- It be? I- why can't I find it? All of you, have you seen a butterfly? I did it earlier. It wasn't because- you weren't here yet. So... Butterfly? Right! Let's see. Hold on, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm very, I have a very, or like, my feelings for, <laughs> I've always had a strong love with my, eh, strong love with Ah, ah Xing, who who's also in this village, but I'm so worried he will, he will fall out of love, so that's why I went to the, the goo, goo granny to ask for a, a love goo, love goo recipe. So that way he'll never change his... Or sorry, he'll never change his feelings toward me. Jeez! Oh, you're one of those possessive types, I see. I've requ I've asked her for so long, and just now the cool granny finally so told me... Let's see. Okay... I'll tell you what she said in just a moment. Oh, thank you. Oh, you actually- Oh, you translate it for me ahead of time. Because she writes it a little bit strangely, but she- The recipe is not sent to you in a very strange way. Anyway, she'll say... The whole thing is... Next to the two butterflies flapping their golden- Flying around flapping their golden wings, a golden green feather falls into the mud. Oh, hey, really? The golden green. It's a kind of a weird color. Anyway, let's see. Their eyes full uh, are brim are <coughs> yeah. See, yeah, are full with tears of yearning. The eaves flower falls into the wine. Yeah, that's a very cryptic way. But I still don't really understand. Neither do I. It seems like I have to go f catch two butterflies. Two butterflies? Would you be able to help me find them? Uh, shall we help them? Help her? Yeah, sure. 
Really? Thank you very much. Well, okay, we'll help you on your quest to be ultra possessive. Having a love go like, well, if they they drink it, they'll never change their mind because if they they'll never change their feelings because if they do, as we found out in the previous game, the, uh, that love goo works on the basis of like it doesn't actually. Hold on, let me just uh, fix my audio. It's really loud. It's start. It's flooding my. So basically, the love goo instead of like making someone uh, love you more, it force it makes it so that if they ever decide not to love you, they die. So I guess that's one way to enforce it. Oh man. Basically, it's for the ultra possessive. I'm like, okay, jeez, lady. Fine, we'll find you, your two butterflies. Hopefully, you give something good. Love your shirt, thank you. Uh, yeah, I have the. This is for. Oh, what is this for? USPF, right? Yeah, this is for a pump, comp a pump it up competition, in the for the na U.S. Nationals. And hi, Dark Kicks, by the way. So I really like that shirt too. I it's been a while since I though this was in two, four this was four years ago almost four years ago now. Jeez, time flies, man. The real question is, can we even have any pup tournaments this this year? Hopefully, but I guess the early part will be no, nope, no tournaments. A lot of tournaments have canceled as of every other big gathering. It's, it seems. So we all have to be semi-anti-social. I mean, what? No, I mean, in some ways that's kind of true, but... At the same time, it's like, you don't have to be anti-social if you have online friends. Thinking of doing more online events. Maybe we'll do an online fighting game thing, because even the fighting game events are not available now. I'll go talk to those people in just a moment. There's Tanglan over there, but I wanna I came here to grab this chest. Okay, the ice crystals and the Tianhe stone. The Ying Stone. Uh Lily. That's like the glass crystal? I don't I think it's like the glass. Okay, shush. Oh, time for you. I hope we could have another pop tournament in the summer. Me too. That's my hope for at least the San Francisco area. But for now, uh, it's all... We're going to be watching how the disease... Okay, well, disclosure, I, I run tournaments in the San Francisco area, so that's why I'm talking about this in such great detail. Oh, Meng Li got her name from it. Oh, yeah, 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 it's true. I, I vaguely remember that, too. We, we talked about it when we were talking about her. Oh, how Meng Li... Meng Li is a character from Sword and Fairy 4. Uh, we played that two years ago, so now it's two years ago. Jeez. But yeah, that was a that was fun. That game is very pretty good. For the most part, it's pretty good. I honestly think it's a little better. <laughs> like the balance of the game's a little better than this one. There was a lot of talking, but like it was didn't feel as nearly as much. I don't know. I'm, that's my impression. It's been a while. Tala says, Oh, young master. Young master, it seems like little sis's mood isn't very... Is, isn't very good. You have to keep her more... Company more. Normally, even though her personality is very cheerful, but... But even... Let's see. Uh, I see, but <coughs> but even even when she's but when she speaks about her illness, her, her illness, her face is told. Uh, let's see, her gaze, her gaze. I guess maybe that's her optimistic. Oh, I see. Oh, whoops. Even though she has an optimistic personality, but even when she... But when she talks about her Ill, illness, even she has... Has the look of... Of calmness. I guess it's like, she doesn't look like she's optimistic. She's just... At, she has a very neutral look. 
I guess that's the best way to put it. Has a neutral look on her face. From what I can see, she... <laughs> From what I can see, that's definitely not a good sign. Miss Mui, what... So what you mean is... Hmm. When someone is... Introspective? Yeah, let's see. Or not introspective, come to... Oh, thank you. When someone has come to turn with their mortality, or like with their destiny, and when they have no... When they lose hope... Let's see. <clears throat> when they reach... When they... With that apathetic... When they have that kind of apathetic expression... Let's see. And that... Oh, uh, and next... That apathetic expression they they have when, at that time. I just don't want to see that expression on her on little sister's face. I see. After having so many years of finding of finding a uh, of failure to find a suitable doctor, or sorry, a failure to find a cure. I'm certain it must have made her lose faith, but but I'm certain as long as you're willing to be even more to uh, to worry even more about her. Uh, let's see. Then I'm certain little sis will have the <coughs> will be able to have a more of a yearning for life. Even, even if it's crying out loud or, or or scolding, as long as it all comes out, it's still better than having her. Let's see. It's still better than having her un be uncaring and and dead inside. Yeah. Dan oh, Tan Xing. Sorry. Talk to her more. I'm sorry. I misread that. Oh no. Apparently, I can't read Dan Xing and Tan Xing anymore. No, but sorry. She said like, as long as you talk to her about her, as long as you give her a talk, um, yeah, as long as you have a heart to heart with her, or talk to her more, like even if she has to, cries or screams, as long as it all comes out, it's still better than being <laughs> being lifeless and un and apathetic. It's still far better, far better. No, I need to make sure to emphasize, because it's emphasis. Mm. I too th I too had the same thoughts as as you, Miss Wu. Let's see. With regards to convin <laughs> to convincing Miss Xia, just leave it to me. Then I leave it to you. Alright. Yeah. Seems like that's what you have to do. Okay, so... Nope, you can't go there, can you? Nope. He don't, you can't go there. Is that the altar? I think I remember it's like the place to celebrate. Okay, let's go fly a kite. No. Let's go to, go to see the love go uh, side quest here. <laughs> oh boy, that love goo is not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, Jie Luo says, Sifu, tell me. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what's the best way to put it? I guess it's like a cute act of yours. <laughs> I don't know. How did we translate Sa Jiao? It's like... It's a very tricky one for me because I'm not really sure. Like putting on airs is what I would say it is, but... Am I really sure? Oh no. Or... Uh, I guess it's spoiled, huh? Anyway. If you want to act like a... S if you want to act like a spoiled child, then you can go ahead and do that to the... 
the young, those young people. I, I know, woman, I'm not going to fall for it. I think act cute might be. <laughs> that pig head Li Yan. Yeah, you can go bother that young man. Sorry, Nian Qingren is is gen you're right. I guess she's referring to uh, Li Yan in that case. I was like, which young person? They're all young. <coughs> no con context is very hard, to be honest. Because Nian Qingren, you can use it for other. It can be for any gender. But anyway, whatever. Xie Luan says, if, if there was any use acting cute toward him, then I wouldn't have had to come here to ask you. Shifu, you've already told outsiders. Why won't you tell me? Oh. Anyway, the gr gu gr gu granny says the chingu I gave to that person. Ah, oh, forget it. If you if you have the free time to to bother me, then you might as well hurry and go practice. <laughs> Practice your goo techniques, right? Or no, you, you you have time to go refine goo. Sorry, I almost read the wrong, wrong word. Oops. Let's see. You've been gone for over half a year. I'm certain you've already. Uh, Huang Fei is like. Uh, you've already gotten bad at it. I think it's the best way. I'm trying to remember. Huang Fei is. Yeah. Uh, you're you're you've gotten bad at. Uh. You won't tell me. <laughs> Fine, I'll go find it. My then I'll go find it myself. Hi. 喂，你们三个是不是听见刚才我说的话了？可不许告诉丽妍，不然。Uh oh. Xie Luo says, "Hey, you three." Did you he did you just hear everything I said just now? You, you, uh, you. Don't you go telling Li Yan, otherwise. <laughs> My, <laughs> these poison insects of mine are, are certainly quite. A, there's certainly quite a lot of these poisonous insects of mine. <laughs> Naturally, I wouldn't dare. Mm. Jello says, mm. But you have you've all come at the right at the right time. Have you all heard of Love Ghoul? <laughs> Remember what you were talking about earlier? Yeah, the thing that's that thing is gar it's a garb it's terrible. It's just terrible. Well, take up most of the next three streams. Ew. Okay. Jello says, <laughs> then you must. <laughs> Uh, okay, yes. <laughs> well, that thing is the... Is the... Oh, sorry. Well, that happens to be a... <laughs> a type of very special ghoul that was... Pa that was... That was passed... Uh, whose legend was passed down... For us here... Uh, passed down here. I've heard that if you give it to the person... Oh, uh, let's see. If you give it to the person that you love... You can allow, you can make him or her. Uh, let's see. Uh, how do I say this? Head over heels, yeah. 
<laughs> you can make him or her fall head over heels in love with you. And let's see. And they'll never change. Their, their feelings will never change for their entire life. <laughs> oh boy. If only it worked that way. Then, Miss Jielo, naturally you want to give that to Lian, right? You want to place that on Lian, right? Huh? Just when would you rely on the medicine with regards to those kind of things? Anyway, Jielua says, Is it wrong that I'm wor- Is it wrong that I'm worried? Let's see. I've always been the one person- Let's see. It's always been me who is holding on to him. Who knows what- Whether or not he'll run away one day. Uh, well... Still. In any case, in the in the past, there was a Han, there was a young Han lady who came who came to seek my Sifu to ask for the almost a jingle, ask for the love gu. Unfortunately, that day I wasn't there. Sifu wasn't willing to tell me, so <laughs> that's why I'm going to go ahead and find find that lady to ask. If I'm able to learn the rough idea of it, I'm I'm sure I will be able to make it myself. <laughs> you all you all came from China. In the future, you. Please be on the alert for me. 不知那位姑娘姓甚名谁, right. Let's see. Who? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Who knows what that what that lady's name was or identity identity was? Just what kind of person are they, <laughs> or what kind of person it was, or or where they came from? Yeah. 好像是北方一个大城来的，那人叫叫什么呢？Oh, no, where she came from is what I say. It seems like she came from a big city in the north, or in the northern, <laughs> the northern side. Alright, what what do we call them? We call Beifang in in Chinese, but it's just like in China, there's oftentimes a division. They say Beifang then and North. I guess this is like northerner and southerner, Nanfang then. So like, so why don't we? Be, I guess you would say the north from the north. Yeah, I guess north. We have to use it that way in English because I can't think of a good way to express that. Anyway, let's see. And sh her name was uh, she was something. What was it? <laughs> is what she's saying. 真是的，我要是知道的话，还要你们帮忙干什么呀？嗯，这事儿啊。Oh, Jelua says, oh, oh, Really? If I knew, then would I need you to help? Why would I need you to help me? Huh. Well, in any case, I'm gonna leave this matter to you. Okay. We didn't even ask to do it. Uh oh. Don't give her ideas. Xia says, Love Gu, huh? Chang Lan says, What is it? <laughs> oh, uh, what is it? Little sister Xia, did you, was there someone you wanted to give them to? Oh, <laughs> says, uh, No, not at all. That. Hmm. <laughs> ah. I just feel like Jielo really does have a very have deep feelings for Li Li Yan, or passionately devoted. You could also say that she's very devoted. That's for sure. 虽然答应帮忙, Even though we've agreed to help, but we have no no clues whatsoever.